Family Worship Primer, Episode 5. Welcome to BridgeCast, an online internet broadcast hosted at paulthompsonblog.com. In today's broadcast, Paul may give reviews of books he's been reading, interview friends, explore church history, or consider current events, all with the hope to keep the lamp of Scripture on the narrow path. Listen in as Paul considers today's topics. Well, today we're talking about creation again, and we're asking specifically the question, who made you? So you've got your, your sons and your daughters. You, you, you've you sat down yourself together all by yourself, perhaps even, because uh, you're using this catechism to, uh, to, to increase your knowledge of God. Uh, whatever the purpose uh, is that you've done so, let's, let's, let's get ourselves to the right thinking place and answer the question, who made you? And let's answer that with the Bible. Let's answer it with what we've been learning now for, for several weeks, the authority of where the Bible sits in our thinking. How, uh, who, who has the authority to, to give us absolute answers to the questions we have? If it's, if it's not the Bible, then who is it? What is it? And we're, we're making the argument with our children that the only one that we can reliably trust to answer these types of questions in our lives is God. And God has done this by revealing himself to us through the Bible, through authors, uh, through these collections of these books. We've been putting the emphasis upon the Bible. Uh, we, we've been singing songs about the Bible. We've been naming the names of the Bible. We've been counting the books of the Bible. We've been we, we've noticed there's two collections of books inside of this one giant collection of books. And so we're, we're, we're emphasizing this so that when we're ready to ask this kind of a question, we know that the authority of the Bible has, has, has taken a primary place in the, in the mind of the boys and the girls. So who made you? And so the, the, the proper answer to that is God made me. And, and let your children say that with emphasis uh, ask them that repeatedly again to ask them when they get up ask them when they ask them when you sit down to eat ask them when you put them down for bed ask them when you get ready to go to church ask them when you get ready to go to the grocery store ask them ask them ask them and let them say god made me let them say that with joy let them say that repeatedly now, genesis chapter 1 verse 27 is the scripture reference that uh, helps us see what the, what the Bible has to say about the creation of humanity. God created man in his own image, and in the image of God, he created him, male and female. He, meaning God, created them. So we're asking the question, who made me? We can go to the Bible and see that the Bible very explicitly and specially says, God made humanity. God made me. So here's there's several things you could do to help emphasize this. Uh, you, you, again, you're emphasizing the authority of the Bible in their life, but it would be good to, to give an exercise to especially emphasize the special creation of man. You might have uh, pictures uh, several nights of the week or several days of the week. You might put some pictures in front of your children and ask them, hey, maybe it's a scene of a mountains, maybe it's a river, maybe it's a, a, a picture from a telescope in the stars, in the heavens. Maybe it's a picture of animals. You know, no, what kid doesn't love a picture of a koala bear or a sloth? It, it, ask them these kinds of questions. And you can ask them, who made this? And uh, hope that they are understanding the authority of creation. And they'll say, God made all of these things. But again, we want to emphasize who made you. And then out of that is, is, is a plethora of questions, is how did God make you? And we'll get into that uh, in, in the coming uh, observations and asking the good and the proper. Don't let don't let questions from the children stump you into thinking. I don't I don't know what to say. Let's see what what the preacher says next week. Or let's uh, l listen. Appreciate that they've asked questions. You're, that's actually evidence that you are succeeding in what you're hoping to do. You want them to ask questions around this. So ask them who made you. Let them answer. God made me. And then also, you can, you can emphasize this. How did God make you different than your sister? Uh, how did God make you different than your brother? Uh, now, don't be embarrassed if they don't know how to answer that or if they answer that with a little more graphic detail than you were hoping. But ask them these questions because this will be important for them. It's not the emphasis of the question, but it reiterates for them, especially as they grow up in the culture that they're growing up in today. Let, let, them, let them see that God made 
humanity as boys and girls. He made them as men and women. So notice this creation is this creation of what God has done by creating humanity is unlike all other in his creation. Uh, humans build houses, they make clothes, they make uh, they, they, they take care of themselves, they build bridges, they build cars, they build buildings, they cook food. And so these are all things that show that God did something different when he created humanity. We must never forget that God made us like this. So when you emphasize this, emphasize the specialness, the creativeness of what God did. He made boys different than girls. Uh, he, 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 he lets both of them, uh, the, both of them are humans, obviously, but he makes them radically and uniquely different. You might even let them identify what is the differences in noticing that, 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 that boys have shorter hair. Maybe they, the girls have longer hair. Their voices are different. And uh, you, you can go as far in that as you want. Uh, eventually, in, if you're homeschooling, you'll get into some biology that you can determine when is the right time to begin speaking about some of the other differences. And they are beautiful and glorious in the sight of God. But boys become men, girls become women. Teach that. That's, that's emphasizing this, so who made you, and for them to identify the specialness and the uniqueness of what God did in creating them. So again, the emphasis here, you're, 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 you're reiterating what you've been teaching them about the authority of the Bible. The Bible's where we go to. The Bible answers our good questions, our hard questions. We, we go to that good authority. And so now we have a question, who made me? We're going to go to the Bible just like we have in everything else, and we're going to let the Bible tell us who made me. So my, my hope is that that will be a pleasurable experience. Uh, take advantage of, of doing this. Ask this question all week long and let the emphasis of it just generate more and more enthusiasm with the children. We'll be asking it at church uh, it let them let them feel comfortable to say it loudly and and uh, enthusiastically when they answer it. All right, hey, may the Lord bless you. May the Lord bless your household. May the Lord bless the the the, the, the city of Twin Falls with a pouring out of the gospel from His church. May the Lord bless the Magic Valley, the state of Idaho, the United States of America, with the movement of the gospel in our day, with an increasing love for God. And may we advance this to the ends of the earth for the glory of God. May the Lord bless your household. Thanks for listening today. Feel free to write Paul with questions or comments related to today's topics. Helpful links can be found at the blog link related to this broadcast at paulthompsonblog.com.